Okay, guys, and we are back. How are you guys doing? We had to take a short intermission. Yes, that's what it's called, that little intermission <laughs> in between the show. Now we've got to reconnect back with, like, everything else I've got going on here on my phone so I could uh, keep track of um, basically everything that's going on. Are you seeing us on the live there, Miss Chin? I am. All right. Good to go. So it looks like we are going back, but for some reason... My, my phone is acting crazy. Let's see if it's going to pop back up now so that I could, you know, watch the show. I'm, I'm not seeing it. Why am I not seeing it? I'm, I'm I, seeing it. It took a little while, but it's back on now. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I'm not seeing it. I'm going to have to check it out from a different account. Something's going on with my Facebook these days. Mm. Let's switch it back over again. And uh, see, you know what's happening? I, I've, I've got too much going on on my accounts, maybe. Yeah, I was about so, to say, it's probably very busy. Yeah, my accounts have been real busy lately. So, you know, a lot of things that we're doing. Okay, so yes. So I'm seeing that we are back on air right now, which is really, really good. So good evening once again, everyone. If you are now tuning in, this is part two of the relationship segment where we will be talking about polygamy and open relationships, okay? Mm. Uh, once again, online with me tonight live is Miss Natasha Chin coming to us live out of the United Kingdom, all right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, me, Pop Snow, live right here from Diana. We love the show. And this is a continuation from what we were doing earlier. All right, so we're going to go into this talk about polygamy, okay? Um, now, of course... Uh, some people, there are some people who are okay with the idea, and there are some people who are not okay with the idea. I think a majority of the world is not okay with the idea, right, of polygamy uh, or open relationships. So we're going to talk a little bit about that, and we're going to see if, you know, either pygamy, oh, pygamy, listen to me, polygamy. <laughs> polygamy. <right? laughs> yeah, polygamy, right, or having an open relationship suits you out there. Right, and uh, you know, if it suits you, congratulations. Tell me how it goes. <laughs> All right, um, <laughs> interested to see. You know, I, I've met a couple polygamists in my life. You right? have? Yeah, I have, uh, in a few different countries. Right, and it's kind of different, but it's kind of the same at the same time. Right, uh, cultural reasons. Some people believe in polygamy. Uh, I believe Muslims, as part yeah. of their culture, those you know, polygamists. Right, persons that are allowed to have more than one spouse, right? So if you're married to more than one person at the same time, it's pretty much polygamy. It actually originated from the Mormons. Well, I'm not sure directly where it originated from, mm -hmm. right? I know the Mormons have it. From but, the 1800s. But here's the thing, right? Muslims have been around since way before that, so I think mm -hmm. I don't think the Mormons could have claimed it. True, right? but they've claimed it apparently on Google. Right. Uh, in fact, the, the, uh, the practice of polygamy can mm -hmm. be dated way far back into the history of mankind, okay? Um, you know, there, there were many kings that had concubines. That is a form of polygamy, right? Uh, they just didn't call it polygamy. They just said the king had his wife, who was the queen, and then he had concubines. So what, yeah. what, what, is, what is a concubine? It's not a fancy animal. It's, it, exactly. Right. There are a number of different women. Right. So, you know, uh, a king, kings, mm -hmm. right? Out there in the UK, a lot of kings used to practice shit like that too. Right? Back mm -hmm. in the day, they would have, they would have you know, their, their maid servants and everything, but they just kind of called them maid servants. They didn't really call them concubines. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, however, in a lot of different places, you know, uh, Asian kings, emperors, stuff like that, I know. You know, so the practice of polygamy goes like way far. Way back. Right. That just goes to show you that a man's heart has always been long. <laughs> right? So, you know, like men, like we probably like these type of punishing situations, right? Some people probably feel that, you know, polygamy is all right. Um, mm -hmm. But those of you who feels that, you know, uh, polygamy is okay, do your thing. But we're going to talk a little bit about it. Have you ever uh, come across anyone that is a polygamist? Actually, haven't. Okay. 
I really haven't. But you clearly have, so yeah, let's... Yeah, I have, I have. Um, let me tell you what, right? First things first. All men talk about this stuff. All men talk about it at some point mm -hmm. in time in their life. Because, you know, mm -hmm. most men, especially if with they with their boys and stuff, yeah, I can, yeah, man, I can handle this, I can handle them. But let me tell you something very, very important. Um, everyone that I have met who practices polygamy, mm. none of them seem happy. Just let me state this out there. None of them seem happy or content. What oh, they do you. show is that they have a certain degree of control over the people in their household, but that does not mean that they are happy or they have actually found what it is that they are looking for, right? They will have double or triple the amount of stress. The, the only people that I have seen polygamy semi-work for is royalty. Mm. And even then, they have issues. The only time I, I can think about in history that polygamy has worked without certain issues was like when you go and you look at those old Japanese movies or you go and look at those mm -hmm. old movies with those old royalty who had all of these concubines, uh, Egypt, Egyptian, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Why? Because if the woman rebelled against it, they murdered her. Wow. <laughs> no, I mean, wow. you know, if you're, if you're a king's concubine and you go and sleep with someone else, you're looking at a serious problem. Mm-hmm. You are looking at a serious, serious problem here, right? So, po polygamy, right? In my opinion, I don't like it. I don't think it makes sense. Um, one, I think about all of the real ramifications behind it. Mm -hmm. At no point in time can you treat anyone fair. You, you might tell yourself it. as a man, yeah, I can treat all of these women equally. No, you can't. Because they're individuals. And to, to make those women happy, you have to cater to them on an individual level. Other than that, you're just basically scheduling convenience mm -hmm. in your relationship. I can have mm -hmm. sheet tonight. I can have sheet tomorrow night. I can have this, 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 this. Right? And how many wives did Moses had? I believe only one. Everything that I have ever studied about Moses, it has only left me to think that Moses has had one wife. If I, at least I have never read anywhere else in the Bible that it said that Moses had more than one wife. Mm. I know about Moses having one wife and I believe two sons. Right? That, at, at least to the best of my knowledge. At least they didn't show you that shit in the Ten Commandments when you watch the movie either, right? <laughs> Neither that or the prince of Egypt. They did not show Moses with more than one woman, right? So, uh, <laughs> right? So, it's, it's uh, you know. I know polygamy is practiced highly in Africa. Yes. In Africa, Africa has a excessively high rate of polygamy, and that is because, well, a lot of social and political reasons and religious and cultural reasons all the stuff that technically divides humankind, it's in Africa, and it has caused a lot of headache for the citizens of Africa. Yeah. Right? Which isn't even considered the citizens of Africa as much as they are considered citizens of Nigeria, Ghana, uh, Somalia, and all of the other broken nations that have never mm -hmm. learned how to come together as one at this moment because everybody wants to be a king. Mm -hmm. uh, Exactly. Right? And that is part of the reason why you have so many problems in Africa. You got too many damn kings. Everybody's a king. Right? So enjoy that one. Right? Um, he is also, a woman. Yes, no, also parts of East Asia. Yep. I'm sorry. If a man can do it, what's stopping a woman? Well, this is the whole if thing. If a man right? turns around and says. Well, well, here's the old thing, and I was also having this, I think I had this discussion with you. We had this conversation today, right? with you just earlier. Well, I'll yeah. tell you the first thing, right? Let me, let me just come out with this really fast, right? Polygamy can't fly with me. Like, let me just tell you why. 
because if I gotta go to my woman and I can tell she, you know, baby, I want I want five out of wife. I don't have a problem with her agreeing. I don't have a problem with her disagreeing. You know, that's not where my problem is gonna come from. My problem, and I think this is all men's problem. Whoever is thinking about polygamy, this is where the problem is gonna come from. She says, and she says, okay, she has agrees with you, and then she said, fine. You want five pieces of fish in the morning? Well, I want five pieces of steak at night. Right. What gonna happen then? Exactly. What gonna happen then? When she said, you want five women? Well, mm -hmm. I want five men every day. Just like you want five women every day, I want five men every day. So, yeah, that, that ain't gonna fly with me. So, you know, polygamy is just definitely a no-no. I can't share. Right? I'm greedy. Uh, Plus, I, I think I have too many needs, too many personal needs that can only intimately be connected to by one individual. I don't think there's enough of me in that regard that mm. the essence of me, my consciousness can be shared. To spread that around. Yeah. Right. Uh, because I wouldn't be able to garner a proper relationship with either one of them to the point to where I can say I'm in love with either one of them. And you will always have one that you probably have more affection towards or feelings or mm -hmm. there will always be that one. Yeah, there, there, there will always be that one. And that's, you mm -hmm. know, that's kind of unfair to the rest. Mm -hmm. That's kind of unfair yeah. to the rest. So, you know, I want to know, is there any viewers that actually agree with polygamy? Is there anyone that has agreed with polygamy? I know Christina definitely does not. She made that very perfectly clear. Anyone out there agrees with having more than one spouse? Who is so who is so crazy? I mean, I'm not going to judge you if you do. I'm just going to tell so you good luck. You're so bold to put it out there. I'm just going to say good luck with that one. Each to their, each to their own. Right. No, I mean, if you could, listen, if you could do it successfully without depriving any one of them and they're all good with it and mm. you don't get poisoned by your next breakfast, mm -hmm. go for it. Go for the gusto, <laughs> why not? Right? Because some things will work for some people. I'm not saying it wouldn't work for some people. I just say, you know, the type of person that I would be attracted to, that I would want to have a solid relationship with, mm -hmm. she would poison me. <laughs> right? And if she doesn't poison me, then she's too stupid to be with me. That's, that's not me. I would poison them. I don't give a shit. <laughs> right? She killed Bottom me. Bottom line. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? So, you know. I don't Anybody agrees you know, with so, it. so I ain't that one though, right? The, mm. Listen, the, you want to try out polygamy. If anybody out, out there wants to try out polygamy, I, 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 I'll give you a taste of it. I'll tell you how you can test out polygamy without being becoming a polygamist. Okay? But if you're doing that, there's only one stage in your life that you can really do this. Okay? Only one stage stage in your life that you can safely do this and possibly get away with it without looking like shit and you still have a viable excuse. Uh oh, hold on, somebody's calling. I don't think anybody wants me to tell anyone that one so <laughs> I don't think I don't think that, that that should come out. If that comes out it might be a problem. Uh oh, hold on for a minute. Uh, hi, I'm I'm on a live right now. I'll call you back. Oh, okay, okay. Good. Bye. No problem. Good. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Okay, that was an important call. Make sure. Yes. So, um, you know, Nando Jaglal said, "Guy, you're not being serious." Why, why are you telling me I'm not being serious? Because I'm, I'm about to tell you that there's only one point in life that you could practice something close to that and get away with it. 
So oh, are we I'm talking here. polygamy or more of an open relationship? More of an open relationship. Well, I, this this is what I'm this is what I'm about to get to, right? So there's only like really one point in life, but where you can really kind of get away with it, okay? And that's in your adolescent dating stage, because mm. at your adolescent dating stage, you can date one person. And then you could date two people, you could date three people, you could date four people, you could date five people. Is it healthy to do? Not necessarily. However, at the same time, most of us, when we're young, we, we tend to date until we find somebody who's really looking for us. Or, mm. you know, we find someone that compliments us. So now in the process of dating, what if, what if you're, you're, you're like speed dating? Right? And in the process of speed dating, within the course of a week, you're, you're dating seven different people. Mm. And then you decide, let me see if I could stretch this for a month of this speed dating thing. So then you end up dating these seven different people over the course of a month. That should be about as far as any human. Do you know what? I think there's a lot of people out there now that do that. Right. Well, ah, well, here's the thing. A lot of I know there's that. a lot of people that do dating that. Websites. And that's probably the closest thing that you could realistically get to it. Because mm -hmm. once you make a commitment, the expectations change. Mm -hmm. You also need okay. to understand that dating and being in a committed relationship are two different things. Are two different things. Two different things. And you're testing the waters to see which one you uh, want. Ah, exactly. So, so you can, you know, it's like you go to the buffet court. You don't know. You never sample any of this skunk before. You're like, yo, you know what they say? Barbecue ribs. You know, mm -hmm. they say. You know, honey, honey wings. You got, you got, you got this. You got big fish. You don't know what anything tastes like, right? Um, mm -hmm. The fact that you don't know what anything tastes like, what it's gonna feel, what it's, what it's gonna feel like, a mouth, whatever the case is. You know, well, you're gonna go with the big plate for, it's gone, boss, right? You're going with the big plate <laughs> for buffet, <laughs> right? And buffet. Okay. You're going big eye. This is the one time in your life you can play big eye, mm -hmm. right? And get away with it, right? Good. You put the top on one big plate, and then you see which is more palatable. Before you decide what you're really going back to, to fill up your plate, to fill up your belly. But let me tell you this. Right? That is probably the closest thing. And that is if you choose, right? To, mm. to practice that dating to a very intimate level. Right? But before mm. you go and start sleep around, make sure first you can handle a conversation and an argument with all of them at one time. Ooh. Right? Yeah. Once you can do that, congratulations, you you passed phase one, Scott. <laughs> go, go on to marriage in an early grief, right? And then I don't want, right? Right. Um, Asina said, "You always test drive any new car you buy. Damn straight. I don't care what anybody says. Sex before marriage." I mean, it, it, it sounds nice when people say, oh, I'm going to wait till I'm married to have sex. If you wait till you're married to have sex with that person and you're extraordinarily lucky, you'll be okay. Mm -hmm. But if you're like most human beings and your luck is equally right. shitty and you wait till you're married to have sex, you might, you might find yourself at the, at, at, at the serious crossroads at some point in time in your relationship. Now, I'm not saying to promote <laughs> sex before marriage. Mm. I'm not saying that. But I'm telling you to practice it. And it some, people, some people it are saying, what? what? I think this is supposed to be a man of God. Yes, I am a man of God, so I don't want you to waste God's time by going and doing a whole bunch of vows just after you do the vows now, two months later, sleeping with the best man because there was a reason why they were calling him the best man. There you go. <laughs> you understand? Mm. 
I mean, it's nice to tell our children that shit. Yeah, don't, 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 you know, don't sleep, don't sleep with him. He's got cooties, you know, you got to wait, right? I mean, but the reality is, I tell it, you know, I'm a, I'm, I guess I'm a very realistic parent, right? I got my daughters. I I want to know. I want to know that man doing them and ding, ding, ding. Nobody want to know that, <laughs> right? But at the same time, I tell my daughter them straight. You got to test you out. You have to test drive. Now, I found some creative ways that they could test these body them out without even sleeping with them. I said, you got you to gotta take a timer or stopwatch. You got to make them get an erection and watch it for a minute. If you see it like a grandpa in a rocking chair, drop, drop, and drop, drop, and drop, drop, and drop. But understand, no one going to retire soon. You ain't want no one. <laughs> you got a problem? You ain't want no one. The only benefit to that one is you wait a little bit longer, pension coming. But you gotta stand in line in Guyana for that. And then if you gotta stand in problem, well then you done you done then bad business twice. OAP status. <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> right. Hold on. Listen, I, I tell I tell it any woman, if I'm in a relationship with you, right? If I'm in a solid relationship with you, don't even play games. We making a commitment right now, right? Part of that commitment is sex. That's that's on the list. I don't care. Like you want to know a piece on the list? We gotta have good sex. <laughs> that's good your sex. list. <laughs> good sex is like up there, like priorities in that list. You got a test drive. <laughs> I funny man, you know. Before I even go to you to find out if the sex is good, I can tell. I mean, let me see your sex yourself. Oh shit! I said, if you can't please yourself, well then I can't please you, Scott. So you don't mess around. <laughs> nah, but that's just a joke there, right? But still, you guys understand what I'm saying? Do you, does anyone understand what I'm saying? I think some people understand. I get it. I get it. I totally get you it. You know what I mean? If you can't Listen, please you, yourself, you can you please anybody else. Your wedding night, then you go and have sex with that person, and sex shit. How do you come back from that? Okay. Re you, you. How do you come back from that? Like, you've waited all this well, time. Well, you got no choice. You got to go back. Because that was it. You don't buy, you don't buy the coal. You don't, you don't, you don't buy, you don't buy everything. You own it. You're the transported owner of a property that can't stand up in time. No problem. <laughs> This is a problem. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Likewise, it is go vice versa. Mm -hmm. Because the reality is somebody could train their son for test out me daughter. This is reality. Really? This is reality. Really? Mm -hmm. But when them is big people and they can maturely make those decisions, then that is their life and their choice to make. Mm. And then daddy do it frustrate the hell out of me thinking about it. They still got to know what they do it. Mm -hmm. I agree with me, Noel's comment. I agree with Noel's comment. I'm sorry? Said, I agree with Noel's comment. He said sex is very important in any relationship, but it's not the only important thing. And I do agree with him. It's not. Less. I, I, element. No, no, I, I, I do, I do uh, definitely agree with that. Sex is not the most important thing. But let me tell you what. If the sex ain't good in my relationship, I'm not in that relationship. We gonna be friends. The tonic. We're gonna be really good friends and nothing more. Mm -hmm. Right? Exactly. Why? Because at the end of the day, if I am not satisfied... <laughs> I'm going to seek satisfaction somewhere else. If she is not satisfied, she will more than likely seek satisfaction through some other means. Or if you don't, the relationship is going to deteriorate to the point where you're always at each other's heads. At, well, at well, well, exactly. Well, this is the whole thing. right? I, I, I'm a passionate person. I'm passionate mm -hmm. about my beliefs. I'm passionate about a lot of things. So any relationship I'm in, 
more than likely that person shall also be a passionate person. Mm -hmm. And when you got two passionate people, you're gonna have argument. And if mm -hmm. the sex cunt ain't good, your relationship done. So I, you know, mm -hmm. good sex is part of an insurance policy in a relationship. Wherever we get into vex with each other, make love. Hey, make up sex is the best. You know what I mean? So it could work out. Mm -hmm. So that is glue. That is glue. That is mm -hmm. solid glue. Mm -hmm. Right? But now, if you're a polygamist and you have an argument with all seven at one time or all eight or how much ever, how are you going to do tired. that? You're tired. That's all I'm saying. You're going to be very you're tired. Fix one problem and the next six going to collapse. It could be a catastrophe, an avalanche mm -hmm. of stress coming upon you. Mm hmm. Indeed. Okay, Sonia put something there. She said, how about telling your partner what you like and what makes you happy? Yeah, telling your partner mm -hmm. and your partner having the ability to perform <laughs> those tasks, it's not always it's the same thing. thing. This is a mm -hmm. fact. Because if it was so simple, right? If it was so simple, we wouldn't have so many divorces, right? Two leading causes of divorces, and I'm going to tell you right now. One, well, actually, I'll give you three leading causes of divorces, right? Number one is communication. That, that is the mm -hmm. utmost number one cause. Number two is money problems. Mm -hmm. But number three, bad sex. That's why partners go outside. You miss cheating. Right? That's why partners end up cheating. Mm -hmm. Right? And... By the way, bad sex could be encouraged. Women encourage men to perform poorly sometimes. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, you might not realize how, but by telling them, yes, this feels good, when in fact it does not necessarily feel good, you're setting that man up for failure. Yeah, you're leading them down the garden path. What did he mind jamming the upper... Right down, Carney, your cervix, broken you up, hurting you. Yeah, baby, you feel good. Oh, God. But now tomorrow's country, you got to go to the doctor. You ain't got the money for pay for the doctor. Then you got bad sex plus financial problem. You already on your way out. And all of that happened because of bad communications to you. You done three strikes. Just know that a divorce is coming next. Just know that divorce is coming next. Christina said, what can we consider bad sex? Sex that leaves you unsatisfied when it's done. Simply put. Because each to their own in, in, that, in the bedroom department. What one may like, the other may not. you got to find Nanda, someone Nanda, it's a good thing we're Christians. You shall come back in the resurrection. <laughs> Sorry, God is always watching. He definitely is. All right, God is always watching. So don't die. Mm -hmm. Right? You're coming back. Right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but, you know, people encourage it. Mm -hmm. I've seen, I, you know, I, I'm a funny person. You know, I, I, I constantly evaluate myself and my performance. Right? So if I'm having sex, you best believe after I'm done, you know, and I see you recover, I'm, I'm going to come with a questionnaire. Like, so how was it? You know, like, can I use some improvement? You know, would you, would you like it this way? Would you like it that way? Come on, there's a lot of different ways to cook an egg, so I figured it's the same way for sex. I could cook an egg a hundred different ways. Imagine what I could do with other things. I would just like to know the preference. Are you talking about straight after sex? I mean, you're giving it a break, right? You're not coming out, pulling out like a clipboard. No, you gotta wait for the recovery time. Or you gotta ask, you gotta ask, you gotta communicate, you gotta do something, you gotta ask. Yeah. You got Definitely. to ask. I think asking is good. But then I think that the person should be bold enough to tell you. Right? I think asking is good. I think people should ask. I think the person should be bold enough to tell you if you didn't satisfy their needs. Yeah, damn straight. But a lot of people don't don't really tell you. Some people say, man, I might hurt their feelings. What is going to really? What is going to hurt the person's feelings worse? Mm -hmm. You telling them, listen, man. I like it, I but you could have did this. See. You know, you got to learn how to say it, right? You just, just say, yo, man, right? It done. Right? You, you can't just say, okay, good, 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 you know, and just kind of, uh, right? No, you could tell when somebody, you could, I don't, I don't care. 
By the way, this segment of the show is strictly adults, right? If you got your children and watch it, you wicked bad. If my children watch it, y'all get off. You know, I can't y'all mothers now for beat y'all. Good. Good. So. <laughs> Sonia said, let your partner take a survey. Hmm. Yep. Sonia, he's got a survey and he's got a list. <laughs> right. Yeah. What do you mean? I sitting behind computer all the time and I ain't learn how to use Excel for bill survey. What do you think a database is for? People like me, they make spreadsheet and workbook. And die. Right? <laughs> wow. Okay, let, let's see. We, uh, Noelle <laughs> said, what if, the, what if it is not good, but the woman don't want to hurt your feelings? Then that means that she's setting herself up for a, hit, a long, long time of dissatisfying moments. Disappointment. Right? Disappointment. Right there. Then that means she's setting herself up for disappointment. Mm -hmm. Listen, let me tell you something. Women need to be more vocal. As well as men, you need to be more vocal. If it's not satisfying you, if it's not pleasing you, you need yeah, to Yeah, listen, to man. Look, let me tell you something. You ever heard someone describe, describing someone as a freak mm -hmm. in the bedroom, stuff like that? Mm -hmm. It's not freaky. And, and I, I actually, I'm actually against that term when it comes to describing sexual pleasure, right? Because you're not a freak for liking what you like. You're Think not about freak it. If you're with the right person. Right? Um, Right? You're not a freak for liking what you like. That's what you mm -hmm. like. Oh, scoots. Scoots, scoots, scoots. Hi, I'm still on a live. I'm still on a live. Hi, no, no, I got a question. Okay, oh, oh, hold on one second. Go ahead. Oh, on the live, on the live. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I was just... I'm listening. I'm listening to you, Anthony and Natasha. Hello, good evening. This Hi. is Mini Captain. Yeah, this is Mini Captain. I have. Go ahead, Mini. So, all right. So here, here is my take. Here is my take on your topic. But my. Mini. Breaking up. Yes. Yeah. There you go. We can hear you now. Okay. Here's my take. You guys are talking about an adult topic called sex. Sex to me is a very natural thing and it comes, it comes naturally. When uh, two people are passionate about each other and they have what it takes, sex is, is it goes with it. You don't have to even discuss it. You don't even have to uh, like do anything. It comes naturally. Mm -hmm. And that is, that is my take because it's one of the most beautiful things that God created for man and woman. And when a man and woman is involved, if they have enough for each other, sex should not even be discussed, but it will be natural. It will come naturally. Thank you very much. And I do agree with that, but not all persons can connect to their natural instincts. Some people repress it. I <laughs> That's my opinion. <laughs> All right. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. Thank I, you I, so I, much, Minnie. I, 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 I get where she's coming from. Some people are shy as well. Well, yeah, some people are shy. Some people don't like to talk. Yeah. And then you got people like me. Man, I talk, Scott. I ain't got time. You're bold. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I want to know. I, you know, mm -hmm. I like checks and balances hate me for accountability right but it is that it is that right i don't want to be trying to read somebody's mind this mm. is the first thing right but provided i know what my partner is into then then in my love for my partner i, I mean can, I, I agree with, i can i, I, I can streamline certain me. things because here's the thing i've been in love before another mm. person has loved me but I'm pretty sure that there was more to it 
But neither of us were brave enough to get to that point. Mm. So where we were so comfortable that we were able to say, you know, well, maybe we should have some toys in the bedroom tonight. Mm. Maybe we should put on some outfits. Maybe we should role play. Maybe we should do things. Now, I don't care. I'm crazy. I, I, I have a good time. I'm not, I wouldn't say that I'm a freak. I, I say I'm very creative, Scott. Right? And... You know, what's the point of having a coloring book if you're only using one color crayon? No, you got to use all, you got to use all hey, your skills, right? You got to paint a rainbow. What are you talking about? Right? You, you, you know, you got, you got all these colors. Mm -hmm. You got to do something with it. The body can bend and flip and flex and do all. So what are we really doing? Mm -hmm. Am I waiting for somebody else to tell me what is satisfying? Like, I know back in the days, way back in the days, I didn't know what a French kiss was. Wow. And somebody else had to tell me what a French kiss was. So growing up, so there was a point in time where, where, you know, general knowledge, people wasn't talking about it as much because it was more of a taboo, very intimate. These days, certain restrictions are off of taboo topics that these things have become commonplace to us. Mm. Right? And I think that it's important to evaluate your relationship based on certain things. Uh, I, I believe that sex is a major part of, uh, you know, the relationship and discussing certain things are important. Yes, I might be romantically and madly in love with someone. That does not mean that she wants to be treated like a little princess all of the time, right? Maybe she wants to get tied up, but I'm never I'm asking her. Around the room, you, like, you, 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 you understand what I'm saying? Mm. You know, like... Some people, some people, some people like, some people like having sex with, you know, half dressed. I've seen that. Maybe she likes getting her clothes ripped off. Maybe she yeah, gets so, so, you know, you, you, you ask, so you ask, different. asking people is mm -hmm. important, especially if you're going to go and tear off their clothes. Like, you know, like, is that a brand name? Cause I can't afford to buy that shit back. If I rip it off, let me know. Next thing you know, you tell me, yeah, I like having my stuff ripped off. You got a brand new, nice, you know, you come home in your work outfit. I tear that shit off and then you get vexed. I'm like, I thought you like, you jackass. I can't go to work tomorrow. Right? <laughs> right? But I could see that becoming a problem. Right? So communication. Right? So it is part right, of it. That's right? what it comes back to, communication. Right? Um, now... If you have good sexual communication with one another, it reduces the need or the thought of people considering polygamy. Mm. And it stops people from looking to venture outside of their relationship. Be before I have more than one wife, wouldn't it be better if I had one wife in 31 costumes? 50 shades of gray. Something, you know? Well, I only go in for a monthly thing, right? My right, schedule's right. got to run on a monthly basis. Fifth is a little bit more than a month. Mm. Right, let's see how this thing work out. <laughs> right? Well, here's the thing, Andy. Yeah, Andy said we can all be freaks behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. Well, let me tell you something, right? I had a relationship a while back, a long, long ago, right? And like, mm. like, like, nobody didn't know what they were doing in their relationship, Scott. Right? Because what you did know I, her? No, no, well, I, I instinctually I knew what to do, right? But like you should have seen we we look like two last freaking puppies going. We watch it, we like, yeah, we wanna do this thing, but we, you know, there was more that we could have been doing. And then I realized I said, Well, this gotta stop right here. I ain't going further than this. Because mm -hmm. I started to lose interest really, really quickly. She was pretty but body language. Mm. She was just kind of like, she was used to men just treating her as like an object. Mm. So whenever she, I guess, whoever, whatever relationship she was in past, she was just like, I'm just going to kind of lie there and take it. No, so she was, she was I don't submissive. want the corpse. I wanted a woman. She was submissive. That's <laughs> not corpse. submissive, that's dead. Me and him want to touch the thing. What if, what, what if me body dead, Scott? Not me. Oh, God. Andy, she was not shy. Okay? She became physically 
incapacitated when it came mm-hmm. to sex. It was just like, I like you. Are you serious? And I'm like, so she just basically you was doing all the work. Yeah, no. So I ain't go there for walk over time. I ain't go there for do a two man shift. I thought it was a team job. So they couldn't fly with me. No, it's I walk off the work site. I said I quit. I just walk up, no two week resignation letter, nothing like that. I just said, you know what? You need to find somebody that's right for you. That's the thing, you need to have the sexual compatibility. No, as well. because I can tell you straight, it, it was a total turn off. It was a total turn off. Like when you were making out and stuff, stuff like that, that it was all right, everything was going good. But then all of a sudden, when it came time for clothes off, and blah, 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 she just <laughs> laid there. I was like, No, I, I, I didn't know if I was in a bedroom or a coroner's office. <laughs> so you might get nervous. Then the AC was on, scunt and me the naked and the, the breeze started blowing up my bombs. I said, nope, back up, time to go out. <laughs> that sounds like hard work, Anthony. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if you're in the process and you're about to make love and suddenly this head starts working, and this one stops thinking, then you know you got a problem. Mm-hmm. Something, ain't, something ain't making sense here. Something's not clicking. You understand? I'm like a T-Rex. My food got to be alive before I eat it. Okay? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? It got to be alive. You ever see Jurassic Park? Them no hunt dead thing. I'm not a scavenger. <laughs> oh, only scavenger one dead thing. What are you gonna do? No. Wow. <laughs> Noel, another thing: couples get too comfortable and take things for granted. No, no, Jillian, don't say that. She didn't make the puppy go to sleep. Oh lord, don't say nothing like that. One, <laughs> the dog just decided to go on patrol another area of the yard. The, oh, the yeah. area didn't have nothing for the dog to secure. You don't so protect you something that's done dead. You got to protect something that's alive. <laughs> right? Good. The dog realized that thing don't need protection. It's dead. It got no value. So how did you get out of the relationship? Did you tell her? Oh, no. It was easy to get out of the relationship. First thing I did was I put back on my clothes and I walk out the door. Wow. That's the first that was the first step of getting out of that relationship. Right? And it was fairly easy. Because the place was chilly and I needed to warm up anyway. No corpse can warm me up. That's gone done dead and cool. Me and so me wait, was that, the first, that was the first time. It wasn't like he had a first time. I didn't go back for a second. Just asking, you never know. That was it. That was it. Then that done business. Story done. I was not Jesus Christ to resurrect the. I had to resurrect body after body see the. Body said no. Me and one deal with the. So I had to save my Christianity to resurrect body and left the dead thing right there. Not me. Right? Gone. <laughs> No, it's a serious thing. <laughs> no, so you're, so you're like, maybe she was, no. No, 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 no. I think she was a little too experienced. That she just laid there like she nothing. she an older person? Yeah, yeah. So, so it's like she laid there like nothing, nothing didn't, nothing didn't, wasn't excited to her. That, 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 you don't get that type of deadness. From lack of experience. Lack of experience, you'll be shy, you'll be a little nervous, you something, something, right? You get that type of deadness, scunt, right? When, Maybe you know, when the Panama Canal probably done gone through you, right? So after that, I said, nope. I said, I ain't got my sailor's license yet. I gone. I ain't want to be dead wood in the water. You ever see dead wood float? No, 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 no. I rule it. 
Mm -mm. My food must be alive. Right? She was older. I'm assuming she was older than you. Lynette, sing on. Okay, so I'll tell you. At that time, I was 24. And, um, you know, well, she, yeah, she was a lot older. She was, like, in her 30s. Right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, and I was just like, yeah, that's not working. Wow. I, 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 I figured I would have learned something. I did learn something. I learned what I didn't like. Really, really fast. Learned what you didn't want. I learned that, yeah, this isn't for me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Right? I was even willing to take one for the team. But then, <laughs> dead weight is real heavy. <laughs> it's not the same. And then dead weight for a reason. That would only slow me down in life. I had to keep Did it. Did you ever contact you often? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good friends today, like today. Probably uh, up until she sees oh this show. Oh my God, she might even be watching. Right? right, up until she sees this show. But she'll never know it was her. You hope? <laughs> you right. hope. Right. But in, in case you're wondering, that's 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 why I suddenly disappeared. It wasn't you. It was your posture on the bed. It reminded me of someone that I saw passed away. So it was a total different feeling. So please don't take it personal. It was just me. Not you. you know, it's, the guy always says that when he wants to get out, out of something. It wasn't me. It was me. me. It it's wasn't me. you. Always. If they're breaking up, it's not you. It's me. I was just used to, you know, eating fresh food. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't hate me for it. Right? <laughs> right? Don't, don't hate me for it. I'm, you know. You might know it's her. She does know it's her, Gillian. <laughs> right? Yo, give me a sec. Hold on. Security. Pardon me. I don't know if I'm on mute. I don't know. Can you guys hear me? Oh, Scott, I heard security calling it. I said, oh, God, she's here <laughs> to take me to the grave with her. I was like, I was like, nobody could save me. No. <laughs> yeah, I got nervous. <laughs> yeah, Gatangeli, why you think I got nervous when security called me just now? Security was like. You have a stranger at your door. Yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, there was somebody downstairs at the same time. They're, they're now up and, yeah, but still, I was like, oh, my God. I was like, God, she heard me. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? But um, it is what it <laughs> is, right? I, I, I would think that, I would think that, no, but she did find someone. She's very happy. Right, she she's Happy in a now. loving, committed relationship. She's got three children now. God bless her oh, soul. Yeah. Right, God bless her soul, and uh, she found yeah, you know, she found someone that was the right fit. Was the right fit yeah. for her. Mm -hmm. I I just I just wasn't that person, and I saved mm -hmm. her a lot of time by not even going down that road. No, well said. That means she lives in Guyana. Right? Right? No, she does not live in Guyana anymore, just to let you know. Right? After that, I think she took it pretty hard because it's not easy when you're about to have sex with someone and the person you're about to have sex just decides to put on their clothes and make a beeline for the door. So you didn't actually commit the deed? Like you didn't no, I tell you. I... I mm. It, wow. I lost interest within a certain space of time. It happens. People, it happens to people. It's understandable. Right? It happens to people. 
Because the thought ran through my mind. What is something happening then? I give life to this thing. <laughs> it's gonna be a different problem. But then she may have surprised you. Uh nah, I was mm. pretty surprised uh from what I saw there. It was just kinda like here, take it. And it wasn't like there there was no appeal to it. Mm. Sorry. Body language, right? Body language. Maybe okay. from, from lack of training or whatnot. But yes, I was turned off. I was turned off by a certain particular type of body language. I don't know if that makes sense to people. But it was just something that I think maybe she didn't do. That just changed the whole mood or something. It was a particular way. But I can't really go into that because that goes into a part of my list. And then and, and it's too much, too much nonsense there. Right? But I will tell you this. It's that. You know, I think it's important to have a real psychological connection mm. with someone. And if you can form a real good psychological connection with someone, then polygamy will be the last thing on your mind. I agree. Because that's when you would realize, hey, you know what? There's not enough of me to share with all of them. And still be able to cater to the needs of the person that wants me. Mm -hmm. The reality is, is if I want someone, I want all of that person. Mm -hmm. When it comes to certain areas in their life. And what I don't want for me, I don't want for other people. But for any dude out there who's considering polygamy. Just let me know. If, tell me how many wives you have. And I will send that many husbands to your wife first. And once you could watch it happen, then I think you're ready for polygamy. Mm -hmm. Fair enough? Yeah. I think that sounds one. fair. It's not one-sided. Right? I think that sounds really, really fair. Right? Um, but sometimes in the process that after that happens, she might not even want you anymore. So enjoy, guys. Know what's going on. You better really know what you bring into the table. <laughs> There's so many things to consider as well, though. Things like children. Right, there's a lot of things to consider in, in that type of relationship. Well, here's the thing, right? Uh, for some people, right? For some people, I know a lot of people that don't want children, first thing, mm. right? Because they saw all the headaches that other people have, mm. right? But normally the people who tend to say they don't want children, they're either really, really young mm. or they have experienced certain things in life. Normally, they would have hit in their mid-30s or later, and then they're just like, you know what? No, mm -hmm. that's not for me. I'll adopt. I'll do something else, right? Yeah. And then they make some more mature decisions, right? Um, and then things will go there. Rosanna Jones, what's your show about tonight? Tonight, we're discussing relationship topics. Uh, this is actually part two of an earlier show where we were dealing with... Uh, whether or not love uh, can distract you from your life's personal goals. And currently right now, we're talking about polygamy and open relationships and if it's for you, right? Well, not necessarily you, but for whoever, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I know for me, can't work, right? Uh, certain things, listen, I'll share my food. I'll even share my bed until somebody sleep on the, right? Plenty things. I take off my shirt off my back. I take off my mm. pants and all and say, take it. I would even give him a bottle and walk naked scunt if I got to. But don't tell me mm. to share any of my wife's forbidden fruit with you because we're going to have problems. <laughs> or share my children or some weird stuff like that in a, in a really awkward sense. Yeah, things like that, I'll have problems with. Mm -hmm. I'll give plenty things, you know. And the one thing that I am completely unwilling to give and share, it is not even mine to control. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. Isn't that the funniest shit in the world? Mm -hmm. Out of all the things I own and control, I'm willing to share. But the one thing I'm not willing to share, it is not even my possession to 
to dictate where it goes. Isn't that the irony? Does Scott got his own two legs, literally. His own mind of its own. So you see, this is, you know, right? That is the ironic part. Yes, Gitanjali, it is a very broad, uh, broad-based topic. It can touch in a lot of areas, right? Uh, but like I said, you know, the safest thing you could probably do to, uh, to practice polygamy without actually becoming a polygamist, the safest point in time that you might have to actually do that is during mm -hmm. an earlier part of your life when you're now discovering relationships and mm -hmm. you, you're dating. I didn't say sexing everyone. I said dating. Can you see what Christina said? This show makes me want want to wish to be in an unknown place with unknown people and just walk around with beautiful crops and picking who I want to be with for the day and unto the next day and eating fruits and taking baths in the open river like fools. So you would you would literally I'm assuming She's looking at an open relationship. Yeah, I think she's looking at an open relationship. Not a very open relationship. That might mm -hmm. work with her. That might work for her if uh, if she's okay with that. No, that, that, that wouldn't work for Christina. She's full of talks. Yeah, I, I think it's so too, right? It's full of talks. It's not, that's not happening for her. <laughs> I Listen know to Horace. You. If you all share, this world would be a better place. All right, Horace. Oh, you share first. Sharing is caring, I guess. You share first, Horace. Lead by example. <laughs> right? Let me just say that. Lead by example. Amen to that. Right? Right? So mm -hmm. if you could do the handle artist, let me know. I still ain't willing to try. Because mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't consider it. And you know what? It ain't going to work for me. I right? can't. I can't. Sure. It ain't going to work for me. Right? But yes. Um, you know, so... I can tell you for me, based on what we've been talking about, about polygamy, for those of you out there who consider it, good luck with that, mm. right? Uh, just understand the relative pitfalls of a polygamous relationship. Yeah. Now, if you're the person that has multiple partners, then it might seem nice in some ways. But very seldom do you get to have an equal relationship with any one of them. You will always love one more than the rest. And if that is the case, can you truly say that you loved all of your wives? I consider a polygamous relationship a very selfish relationship. And any relationship that is built on that degree of selfishness, it's bound to fail unless you have enough money to buy people's consciousness into stupidity and acceptance. And even then, if you're the guy, one of your wives are going to be cheating on you. Don't get it twisted. Or they're going to ask for the and same. And worse yet, if you looking around for finding out who's the next guy and you realize she's been cheating on you with your other wife because both of them have been left dissatisfied. Mm. Right? And then you got to watch your back to get poisoned twice. Don't ask me how you get them poisoned twice. But y'all women are very creative and I'm sure one of you would find the method to do it. That. <laughs> right? Next thing you know, you come home to dinner and they say, none we ain't cook, we on strike, union in the house. You <laughs> run scunt so fast, you wouldn't know what to do. Right? <laughs> but anyway, I hope that you guys really enjoyed the show. Is there anything you want to say, Miss Chin? Because I do want to wrap up a little Ooh, bit. I'm just thinking, the only thing that I was thinking was if they all gang up on you, you're in yeah, the that sound, that sounds like plenty of headache. You know how much mm -hmm. birthday scunt you got? How Christmas? Oh, scunt. And then if they all got cheering for you? Oh, no! You gotta know what you're doing there. I don't think I ever said this before, but I can say this in that regard. Oh, my mama. <laughs> I'll be at last. You know what for do there? 
But Andy, yeah. if you uh, Andy, Andy if you if you're ever thinking about swinging, it's easy. Get a rope. <laughs> Tied to the tree. Get a rope. Tie it down. Swinging did not help Will and Jada's situation. You saw what happened. Oh my gosh! Yeah. She she ended up swinging down the line. To her son's friend. Was your son friend right? Right. So, uh, mm -hmm. ensure that for those of you who ever consider the whole swinging thing, one, I can't be in a loving relationship and be a swinger. No way I could be in love and watch a man touch my woman. Mm -mm. That can't happen. That's no. gonna can't happen at all. And knowing that your friend hit on your woman, mm -mm. that's Wait, Jillian, that's, that's how you having sex with all these women, you gonna die. Oh, poor puppy. Hey, I'm not having sex with a bunch of women. So let me make sure I clear that up. Oh, by the way, I think somebody put up something earlier, something, right? Something earlier. That, 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 left, me, that left me questioning what the hell was going on. Something with that? some balanje or something like that. People going to pick out on me by gun. Are you supposed to get choked in the morning? Ah, me by gun, gun. Ali by Ganga. Then I see three by Gan on the post. But I know I didn't know because say one by Gan, two by Gan, three by that's a lot of by Gan. But since we talk about by Gans, four. ladies and gentlemen, I, I have to tell you. Four, uh, four by Gan. Oh god, too much by Gan. But Lange by good for the blood, I guess. Right? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so anyway, I thought, you know, I think tonight we had a great time. We had a nice discussion. Yeah. Right. Um, right. Thank you. No, always. Jillian, I got to protect my health and strength and thing. Right. <laughs> right. So I'm saving myself now. That's what I'm doing. I'm Be saving a list myself. woman for the woman on the list. Save Be myself. List woman. You see gold standard. This is the gold seal. You see that? That's a gold <laughs> seal on my head right there. You seeing it? And it, I'm surprised it's still sticking to my head. The gold oh my God. Yeah, I put a gold seal. This is gold standard, baby. You got to save this. This is a special moment. You can't, you can't pop this bottle anytime you feel. Uh -uh. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to have ceremony when opening up these bottles. Oh, shit. Right? Well, I thank all of you very, very much. Thank you once again to my beautiful host here, Miss Natasha Chin. To everybody out in London, America, Canada, Guyana. You know, uh, all over South America, you know, to all of our network family all the way out in Asia, Southeast Asia, especially right now with all of the video game tournaments going on. Big up, big time shout out. I was doing some uh, video game tournaments yesterday, too. So in case persons did not hear from me or see me over a certain period of time, you know, uh, I took a psychological trip down a video game road and I was gone for a minute. Right. That's good. Nah, 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 nah. You ever try yeah, welding metal to metal? Right? The flux. It's it's too much. Too much energy there. So I can't put gold seal on puppy. I leave puppy. Puppy turn into big dog these days. Right? So loving it like that. In the meantime, you know, uh, love you guys. Uh, hope that everything is good for all of you. If you ever want to, one, talk some shit and have a good time and get a little bit of knowledgeable information some useful information useful knowledge from it right we're here right to entertain you and to also encourage you to do the right thing hey. right? right so that is always a positive for those of you out there who really enjoy this show uh please note that we can use some support right now we do want to expand the show we want to make it better we want to make it something that all of you guys are going to really really enjoy want to get a lot more people involved you know and uh, mm. we can do so with your contribution so for anyone who would like to keep this show running or even see a show like this on an actual primetime station that would be pretty cool help us raise it up so we could get it done I think it will be amazing I love all you guys and if you guys ever have a topic you want us to discuss you know don't be shy yeah. It, you know, put it on the comment section here. You know, if it's interesting, we're going to jump on it. We're going to jump on it and we're going to make sure to 
everyone just has a really amazing time, right? So thank you once again to my beautiful co-host that looks like she's naked. So people are like, is she really <laughs> no, naked? You got me looking. I'm like, <laughs> right? I'm like, but I can't see. My computer's broken. <laughs> right? So right. Thank you for having me, Anthony. As always, it's been a pleasure. It I've has loved been. the feedback, the comments. Like literally, you guys have me rolling. Like literally, I I enjoy it every time we do. do yeah, man. Do. Uh, and it's always a pleasure to know that the audience is having such a good time. Yeah, yeah, right? definitely. Because I, I could tell you, this is definitely a breath of fresh air for Facebook in Guyana. Mm -hmm. I could I could tell you that much because. Like everything else is like, you know, it's always it's always the political love affair and it's never like the people. Mm -hmm. So this is this is like actually stuff that really affects us. Mm -hmm. It does. Right. So, you know, um, I mean, let's see. Katangeli I mean, said, I hope you all have some good sex and love making tonight. Uh, well, I guess the only way I uh, do that is cyber sex. It's one thirty. It's one thirty in the morning. So that ain't happening for me. Okay. No. I'm going to lie down next to my grandchild. Oh, yeah. I'm about to hit my hammock and check on my dogs before I do so. There so you go. that's us. And well, Andy's <laughs> already naked, so she's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's about to go do good her thing. Go. Right? She's good to go. She's living her best life. Scott, now, now I, now I want to go and get naked. <laughs> but but like I, I cohabit with other people so I can't do that that's a no no in this building you can't really walk around like this right mm -hmm. alright ha 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 she's like she's going to use my bob okay I don't even want to know about that I'm gone alright take care and until we meet again protect your bygone alright <laughs> you protect yours I gotta protect mine I got to protect mine. My bike, I got to be nice and full when it's time for choke it, you know. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know. Yeah, nice bike and choke. You need to protect all four. Okay. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful evening. God bless you guys. Stay safe, and Good we night, love you. Guys. All right, so let me just...